Did you know that you can now get AI agents to find and reach out to leads for you 24 seven? Or maybe you didn't realize that there are now AI agents that can refactor your entire code base without you having to do anything. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you seven beginner-friendly AI automations that you could get started today using AI agents that are going to help you save time, make more money, but most importantly, spend more time doing the things that you actually love. Now, the first AI agent and automation that I wanted to show off because I really think that this is mind-blowing, in fact, this wasn't something that existed just a week ago, is getting an AI agent to do something like this. Analyze the PRs present in this GitHub repo and then comment with suggestions and review results there. So essentially what this is gonna do is this is gonna review some code. Now the reason that I'm starting with this use case is because if this can review code, what else do you think this can review? This can pretty much review anything that you want. It can review PowerPoints, PDFs, contracts, anything that you're doing with your work, this could go through and review. So using Deep Agent, you literally just pose a question to it, tell it exactly what you want it to do in plain English, and then this is going to ask you a few follow-up questions. Now these follow-up questions are incredibly useful because it makes sure that it actually gets it right. If you look at a lot of other AI agents or AI automations, they don't do this, and it's one of the reasons they're constantly messing up. And now what this does is this goes through, you answer those questions, and this literally spins up code in order to do this. Now look at this. This went through, gave us a full analysis, full key findings, and we can now download this right here. And this is literally multiple pages of different things that it found in your pull requests. And then it goes through and gives recommendations by priority and tells you exactly what those changes are. Now, again, this did this with code. Think about all the other use cases that you could use this for, pretty much reviewing anything. And you could give this access to anything. You could have it log in a specific websites like Shopify, Salesforce. You could give it access to your Google Drive. You could give it access to so many different placements. So it can go through whatever you need reviewed, review it, and then write you up a summary like this. That was just use case number one, because we could also do something like this. We could come over this to, and say, this week in AI blog content, connect to my WordPress and every week write a well-structured blog about how the future would look like with advancements in AI. And then every week on Saturday, you should pick an area, mention both the boomers and the doomers perspective on this. Now, this right here is going to go through and it's going to do this every week and it's going to schedule out in order to schedule blog posts every single week. But you could get this to do this every hour, every day, on certain days, you can get it to do it monthly, whatever cadence you want, this can go through and actually publish blogs for you. And then again, what this is gonna do is this is gonna go through and this is going to ask you questions and say, hey, do you want it to be on a specific URL? What specific areas do I want me to focus on? How long should they be? Do you have any type of style preferences? You go ahead, you answer these, and then this is going to set this up. As we can see, this goes off, and this now begins building out a Python script in order to actually get this done. And we can see everything that this is going to do, it gives us the workflow, and then it allows us to actually build out that task. And you will see in your tasks now that this is gonna go through and this is gonna automate this every week and you could even get it to email you exactly what it posted if you want a notification on that or you could get it to ping you on Slack or however you wanna get notified and then look, this actually publishes to the custom URL. So you give this access to your WordPress, it has access to the internet, it knows how you actually write your blog posts and it goes off and is able to automate that for you so you don't have to worry about writing blog posts anymore. And if you didn't want it to automatically publish it, you could get it to actually draft them out so that you could review them or a human could review them, approve them, and then set them live. And this cuts down the time that it takes to get blog posts out by hours every single week. Brings me to use case number three, which is going to be getting this to refactor a website. For example, let's look at this website right here, and then we could come over here and say, connect with my GitHub repo, you give it the link to that, and create a new branch, refactored UI in this repo. I want you to refactor its UI and style it to a Netflix themed website, allowing switching between both themes and then push the code to that repo in this new branch. So this not only is going to refactor your code, it is going to actually give new functionality in there and it's going to allow switching and then 
this is going to get pushed again. This is work that a software engineer or developer would have done before in the past, but now you can get AI to do it. And again, it asks us a few questions, we answer them, and you could just say something like your cause for this, and then this is going to go through and do everything that needs to be done. We could see that we go through, we install this so that it actually gets access to GitHub right here, and then this goes through, spins up the code, shows us all the completed tasks, shows us that it's ready for review, and then we're gonna be able to look at the website and see what it looks like. And exactly what we wanted is what this actually spun up. And you can see in the top right-hand corner that we could choose between the original website or if we wanted to change it back to the Netflix one, which is the one that we're currently on. And again, we didn't lift a finger here. We literally just wrote out a prompt in plain English. This was a three-step problem. And it's crazy that AI agents can automate stuff like that. Now, before I get into all those other crazy use cases, for example, how you could get this to actually reach out to leads for you 24 seven, or even spin up an AI influencer or handle your reporting for you, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Deep Agent today for only $10 a month. This is the most beginner friendly AI agent slash AI automation tool that I've seen, and I've literally reviewed hundreds of tools on this channel. I personally use this tool every single day in order to automate my work, and I think that you're gonna love it too. Also, just so you know, when you register for Deep Agent, you're also going to get access to Chat LLM, which allows you to access every single LLM all from one dashboard so you don't have to pay for each of them separately and actually get access to all of them because as you know, they're constantly changing. Okay, so like I promised, here's how you build out that lead agent. So you come over here, you say something like create an AI workflow. Again, this is going to ask us questions that qualify what it actually wants to do. Then we write this in here. So create me an AI agent that helps my web development and web design agency generate qualified leads from California. Objective, find 25 local business leads from industries such as cafes, clinics, real estate people who would benefit from the services that are outlined on our website. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through, this is going to find all these leads and begin working them. Check this out. So this can actually go through, we give it this prompt and we could see this built out, this AI automation right here. And we didn't have to do anything. You don't have to know how to code. And you can now come in here and tell it the number of leads that you want, the industry that you want it to focus on, the target location, and look at this. This gets to work going through and finding exactly what you want. And again, this is mind blowing because this would have taken somebody in the past weeks to do. And as we could see, we now get a link of all the different qualified leads. We could come over here, we could check them out, see what they actually look like. And they are all exactly what we wanted. And then from here, what we could get this to do is actually connect to Gmail and build out a summary report. So it can actually look at their website and say, hey, I think that the form is off, or I think that the menu is off, or I think something is off about the website. It will then build out an email for that about how it could get fixed, and then it could go off, fill out all these contact forms, or get the contact information, and then go through, reach out to all these people, put it in an Excel spreadsheet and show that they were reached out to, and then you could set this up on a schedule so that it's consistently going and looking again and seeing whether or not they replied. Or we could get this to build off of open source stuff that already exists on GitHub. For example, if we come over here, we could look at this right here. This is going to be a calculator game. Now what we're gonna do is come over to Deep Agent, ask it to clone it, and add a bunch of different things to it. For example, change the color palette. Now this is going to go through, this is going to clone this, and and it is going to make these changes that we suggested that it actually makes. And we could see everything that this has done. This went through and cloned. This went through and extracted Abacus AI's color palette from the website. This went through and rebranded the entire game. It then updated the title and it pushed all 22 files to the new repository on Abacus theme branch, which is exactly where we asked it to do this. Now let's see what it looks like. It goes through, you can see that it did a little bit more. Boom, this went through and rebranded this game from something that was open source without us having to code anything. And I want you to think about how powerful this is because again, we still have two more use cases to get through, but this right here really shows off the power of how you could take anything that's open source, be able to customize it for yourself simply by writing a prompt 
in plain English. Now this next use case is one of those ones that I think is really going to change the way that you think about AI agents and AI automation. So we're saying to this right here, you are a Salesforce data summarization agent. From the Salesforce data, and it goes through and lists it all out, generate a structured summary table for weekly performance per recap. And then we give it four different things. And for each output, we want to clearly use markdown tables and make the output easy to interpret for performance analysis. So essentially what this is doing, is going through and doing reporting for us. And again, we could hook this up to anywhere that we're getting reports, Facebook ads, Google ads, Shopify, doesn't matter where it's from. And like we've done with earlier tasks, we could get this to schedule this out so that it happens on whatever cadence we want. So now what this is going to do is go through, get us to actually log into Salesforce. This is totally normal, totally safe to do. We're going to submit this. Now this is going to go through and this is going to analyze the sales performance data and generate that leaderboard, AKA generate a report for us. We can see that it's going through MCP tools, building up Python again. And now we have this weekly lead assignment by rep and we are getting this full report made right here instantly again from just typing in a prompt in plain English. It went through, did all the total activity, did it by different rep, gives us performance highlights, activity patterns, and recommendations in order to actually approve things. And then on the left hand side, we could see a summary of everything that it did. And then like I've shared with you before, you could have this go through and then ping this in Slack. You could have it emailed to people. You could have it upload to Drive. You could have whatever you want happen to this so that it's sent to whatever key stakeholders need to see it. Now, if you've ever vibe coded anything, this is going to be incredibly important for you to watch. So we have this right here. Hey, I built this app using AI assist coding. Can you please review the code in the repository and provide a summary of one, potential security vulnerabilities, two, implementation techniques used, and three, suggestions for improving the structure, performance, or maintainability, and then we give it the repo here. Now, this is going to go through and actually perform this. Now, why is this important? Because if we don't know how to code, we don't really know anything about security, which is going to be incredibly important when you're building an AI generated app. And we could see that this went through and literally gave us everything that we need to know. It shows us all of the critical issues that were found, recommended security tools, recommended changes. We have a conclusion here. And the craziest part about this is we can actually get this to tell us everything that we need to do. And as we can see right here, there are exposed admin credentials, client-side authentication, insecure data storage, markdown injection risks, and unsafe file uploads. So there are literally several different critical issues that have been found here from this five coded tool, but we actually got AI to find all those issues. And now we could get it to go off and fix them all. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new AI tool that can help you make money with AI. If that's what you're trying to do, but you feel like you don't have a lot of experience, this tool is going to blow your mind because it allows you to go from idea to execution in literally just a few minutes. I'll see you over there.